My name is Molly Moss. I'm head of reference at Forbes Library. I read all year round. Part of it is that I love reading and part of it is my job to um, explore different genres that I'm maybe not aren't my favorites myself. I also um, help run the book discussion group here, so a lot of the reading I do for, is for book discussion. Um, but I know some people have more time in the summer, so I think that's where summer reading kind of comes from. I always like reading books in different series. I'm a big mystery reader, so I read uh, and Justice There Is None by Deborah Combrey. It's like number eight in her series. It's a police procedural set in England, and it's just kind of comfortable to go back to characters for me in the summer. And I'm currently reading a biography by Cheryl Strayed called Wild about a woman hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, basically after her life has completely fallen apart. And that's interesting in different ways. <laughs> for someone who isn't a big reader, I think that you should look for whatever interests you. Um, if you have different hobbies, there's both fiction or nonfiction books about the different hobbies that you can look at. Um, also, if you are really tired, like I know when, if you are a new mom or if you just are exhausted because of working, um, something that you can read in little snippets is sometimes good, um, like short stories where you can just read 10 pages and be done and then start again the next time instead of having to remember where you were. We actually have a reading list available on our website where you can fill it out and we will give you a personalized reading list with 10 or so choices that are just for you. <laughs> we have a display actually out in the lobby right now that we're filling with beach reads and some of it is more um, light reads. Um, romances are, are, and mysteries are both kind of big for summer reading. Um, I know also though people try to take the summer time to go back and read something that they've been meaning to, like a classic mm -hmm. title that they have been meaning to read. There's, you know, the New York Times bestseller list. People are always trying, you know, if, just if there's something that everybody's talking about, that's mm -hmm. always a good thing to read during the summer so you can be part of the conversation. I actually read one for our book discussion group um, that I hadn't read that is 40 or 50 years old, um, Dispossessed by Ursula Le Guin. And she was just such a big, important author in the latter part of the last century that I'm glad I finally read that one. And the number one bestseller in the New York Times bestseller list is The Cuckoo's Calling and it was published as being by Robert Galbraith, but it's actually by J.K. Rowling. And so we had a copy or two just of the book before it came out that it was by J.K. Rowling, but the holds list has now skyrocketed. It's out of print, they're republishing it so that we can get more copies, and it's got a huge waiting list. At the library this summer, we are doing summer reading for adults and teens. Um, we have weekly raffle drawings, and then we're gonna have big end of the summer prize drawings. And basically you just need to read or listen to three books. You need to write us a brief blurb about one of them just so that we can find out what great things everybody else is reading. And you bring this back to the reference desk. But we also are happy to ha answer questions by email or in person, on the phone, if anybody wants any ideas for summer reading or for reading any time of the year. This is from the Forbes Library Children's and Young Adult Department. Some of our recommendations for great back-to-school reads are any of the Percy Jackson books. Um, there's a movie tie-in, so those are popular. John Green books, City of Bones also has a movie tie-in. For younger kids, some of the Dork Diaries and Diary of a Wimpy Kid for grades three to five have been very popular this summer. For really young kids, the Mo Willems books, Elephant and Piggy, are always a hit as well as the Eric Carle books. <laughs>